grew up not far away from here in Red Hook. I love you both. But we had a rule in my neighborhood. When you got in a fight, it wasn't whether or not you got knocked down. It's what you do when you get back up. And I came here to tell you tonight that I will get back up. Bullshit. We, we didn't have that saying in my neighborhood. It's just one of those phrases that uh, it had some traction with the focus group, and so we kept using it, but it's not true. You know, in 1998, I did a cover story for GQ. The title was Youngest Congressman Ever. And since then, every story has tried to explain how I got here so fast. And the, and the word that people kept... Uh, using was authentic. Um, but here's the problem. This isn't even my tie. Go get Jim this tie was selected for me by a group of specialists in Tenafly, New Jersey, who chose it over 56 other ties we tested. In fact, our data suggests that I have to stick to either a tie that is red or a tie that is blue. A yellow tie made it look as if I was taking my situation lightly, and I may, in fact, pull my pants down again at any moment. <laughs> a silver tie meant that I'd forgotten my roots. My shoes. You know, shiny shoes we associate with uh, high-priced lawyers and bankers. If you want to get a working man's vote, you need to scuff up your shoes a little bit. But you can't scuff them up so much that you alienate the lawyers and the bankers because you need them to pay for the specialists back in Tenafly. <laughs> so what is the proper scuffing amount? Do you know we actually paid a consultant $7,300? Was, was it $7,300, Charlie? $7,300 for a consultant to tell us that this is the perfect amount of scuffing.